Forgiveness is real, but it costs some. And when you, shout out a boat. Dietrich Bonhoeffer, the German theologian, said that when it is that we accept God's grace but keep doing the same thing that saved us, we cheapen God's grace. We spit in the face of God. So it's not enough to, that we're forgiven. It's not enough uh, that God has given another chance. What are you going to do with the chance? It's almost like, it's almost like th this, this story of a young man that was drowning in the ocean. And he, and he ignored, you know, Ron and I went to the Bahamas not long ago and there was a red flag and there was waves just jumping up and the, and the lifeguard said, do not go in the water because the waves will suck you out in the riptide. And I was standing way back just looking at the ocean because I was not going to go. But some of y'all saw the red flag and still went in anyway. And, and there was a story of a young man that ignored the red flag. He jumped in the water, and the riptide, sure enough, they sucked him in. And an older gentleman saw this young man be drowning in this ocean. And he, he saw that he, he was about to die, and the man risked his own life. Jumped in the ocean, swam against the riptide. They both almost drowned. He pulled the boy up, laid him on the, on the beach, gave him CPR. He spit up the water. He said... <laughs> Thank you for saving me. And the man told him this. He said, I hope you were worth saving. How many of y'all know that Jesus Christ came in in a time when you were drowning, in a time where you should have died, in a time where you should have had AIDS, in a time where you should have went to jail, in a time where you should have been shot, in a time that you should have died in a car crash. And all he says is, watch this, he says, I know you were worth saving, but can you show me that you were worth saving? Touch your neighbor and say, you were worth it, now show it. 